Olani continues to be sidelined for a second straight game, and Chris Likes hasn't played in 14 games. As Wake wins the tap, and uh, we get a quick stoppage of play here. So now to find a winning combination uh, using that size to combat what Aguama brings for the Deeks down low. And McGusty knocks down the jump shot. And it gets Gak. And Ding Gak with the block of Aguama's jump hook. Miami in transition, the lob, and Gak scores at the other end. Miami doing a good job finding Antonio there on the kick. And a turnover by Wake Forest. Here's Miami on the run, and the catch and layup, and that's Harlan Beverly. Let's let him do the work. That's a violation as a charge going the other way. Over eager to block a shot. Isaiah Wilkins, a three from the right, is good. They try to get a pass inside. Here's McGusty spinning away from Johnson. Gak a three. How about Dane Gack? First start in a couple fella, of years, 11, coach. Diving. Coach, I'm ready here to play now. McGusty will fire with the clock at four and knock down a three. A five from there, the majority of that work coming from Cam McGusty back in the lineup for a third straight game, giving him some score. And Williamson answers. His ball skills aren't to that point where he can catch that thing with movement and deliver it to the basket as he would like. That's poor execution for a Wake team trying to find rhythm. Williamson another three. They are five of nine from the floor. Johnson for the lead. Neath. Carter Witt has struggled from the perimeter, but bangs home one there. That scenario, this Miami Canes, the defense needs to be up higher, needs to be set higher, say we're not going to give you. I mean, that's what you see is he's deadly from three. All of a sudden. It's become a pretty collaborative effort on behalf of the home team. Here's McGusty trying to answer and does snap the streak. Inside, strong take Neath. Had it blocked by Walker. Canes want to run. Beverly trying to get baseline. Back for Wong's three. Sure. Masood. Now to Musius. Back for another Witt three. Sure. Carter Witt. Witt. And the Deacons tried to get away with it. Here's McGusty cleaning up the turnover in the layup. Kind of a midterm guy to the roster for Steve Forbes, and he's helped them here in this first half, and so is Jalen Johnson. Another three for Wake Forest. And I'll tell you, if I'm Wake off these misses, they need to be playing faster. Fill in spots for catch and shoot, pursue those threes in, in the transition game. Lots of pivoting and dribbling. Here's Johnson with five to shoot. Skips from Musius. And now Wilkins pulls away the rebound, and Johnson right back at him. Jordan told you 10 was the magic number. Wong knocks one down at the horn. He's got six. Wake's got nine threes in the first half, JC. Of course, 68 points or less. So can they drive a little bit more offense here? That typically leads to wins for Wake. Williamson a leaner in traffic and Johnson off the bench that's part of Wake's 18 nothing advantage off the bench and how about the plus 10 rebound margin as you see Walker score his first basket of the ball game now Williamson shot clock inside of 10 had it poked away now stolen and Beverly ahead of the pack had it blocked he had a play in this first half or second half. <laughs> and that looked like it was going to be an easy deuce going the other way Beverly did not expect that type of Ooh. effort from you. See, like to see McGusty get a little bit more aggressive here. Each team's had a basket, but that's about it. And there's Ding Gak with his third field goal on the dunk. 43%. They're under that fact, uh, under that figure here today. And Walker knocks down the 17-foot jump shot. Deeks Ofer in the second half from beyond the arc, which has allowed Miami to hang in, kind of cut at this deficit. First field goal of the game for Aguama Jordan on a nice entry pass from Antonio. You can run them out of gas in the seventh or eighth minute left in this one, but to slow it down gives them the opportunity to make plays like that and stay in this game. Wilkins, Neath on the floor. Johnson, who was huge in the first half, trying to keep it going and does. Jalen Johnson now with 11 on his fourth field goal. Make no mistake, Wake has shot makers. You want to try and have as many possessions in this game to give that offense an opportunity. And a jump shot there. Might be a real benefit when you think about it. 
Absolutely, and I can't stress it enough as Johnson's able to drive that thing and finish at the rim. As said this in the broadcast in a lopsided loss. Fortunately for this program, a string of bad luck dating back for the last three seasons, really. Uh, yeah. Coach Larinaga and his staff have done such a phenomenal job bringing in talent. Just haven't been able to see him on the floor. And here's one of them, Isaiah Wall. Acrobatic in the air. About 11 minutes gone, second half. On the drive, Beverly. Bounce through in the corner, Wong got it. Allowed Wong to get a, a decent look, a dribble drive, being a player out there offensively. What a great shot fake, Williamson rewarded. Yeah, good good pivot, woman down low on the block. Reliable you too. You're right about that. There's the drive and score by McGusty. He's amplified to take care of the basketball and get a good one. Clock winds down in this one. Carter Witt, shot fake, step in two, got it. That is a young man growing in the college game right before our eyes, understand the tempo. McGusty rattles in a three. One an ACC legend, another one a great player in the SEC at South Carolina. Three from Musius. Wow. Deacons looking for their second ACC win in a week. Pushes it back to ten with under five to play. Wong, quick hitter to Walker for the layup. Now here's Williamson, five to shoot, all the way through the scoop and score. An opportunistic when a time calls for it on a drive. It seems like Williamson time and time again in this recent stretch has been that guy for Wake. Wong answers with a three. Now Witt with 15 to shoot. Here's Williamson against Wong. Back for Witt's three. Got it. Carter Witt. Tells you you got two minutes to live. You want it to be these two minutes right here because they're oh, going to be them. lengthy. How oh, about the miss there. And Musius goes right to the rim. Fishing 16 with the basketball. points. Yep. Missed the back end of the free throw. Rebound of Guama. Odie tried to go back up with it and won. Biggest lead of the afternoon for Wake Forest. Who's out on the road for three starting Tuesday night at Notre Dame. Three-pointer good for Miami. That one or Florida State, Georgia Tech. I mean, I think both games are going to be uh, really good watches. Yeah. And Duke, talk about a team trending up, figuring out who they are. Yes, yeah. Clemson. Wake Forest picks up win five. It's their second in the ACC in the last three ball games.